The Quran is full of stories of the previous prophets, of the previous nations. It mentions Fir'aun, it mentions Haman, it mentions Thamud, it mentions Moses and Jesus and Mary. It mentions all types of stories. The stories of the Arabs and the stories of other than the Arabs. Now most people don't understand and realize this point. But when the Prophet ﷺ was in Mecca, there was no library in all of the Arabian Peninsula. The people in Mecca were an illiterate, backward nation. They couldn't read, they couldn't write, they didn't have libraries. People at the time of the Prophet ﷺ did not know the details of these stories. They didn't know them. Where did this come from? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran. He says in the Quran, these stories are from the knowledge of the unseen that we reveal to you. Neither you nor your people before you were aware of these stories. This is the miracle of the Quran. And notice as well how precise the Quran is in the stories. One example, we have so much to say but little time. Just one example. In the time of the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, the pharaohs of Egypt were expelled by an outside dynasty. You see, you know there's lines of pharaohs, Fir'auns. The pharaohs of Egypt were a royal dynasty and more than one dynasty existed. Right before the coming of Yusuf alayhi salam, those pharaohs were expelled by a foreign invading force. And Egypt was ruled by a line of kings that were not pharaohs. And this is well known historically speaking. So therefore, to call them pharaohs would be a mistake. But when you look at the Old Testament, and you see the story of Joseph, it refers to the ruler of Egypt as a pharaoh. But he was not a pharaoh. Of that family, he never called himself pharaoh. It was a different dynasty altogether. When the Quran talks about the story of Yusuf alayhi salam, what does it say? وَقَالَ الْمَلِكُ وَقَالَ الْمَلِكُ And the Malik saw, and the Malik said, and the Malik dreamed. Al-Malik, the king. And when it talks about Musa, اِذْهَبْ إِلَى فِرْعَوْنِ Go to Fir'aun. When it talks about Yusuf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The Malik said, Bring him to me. This precision of telling a story, it is humanly impossible that the Prophet was aware of these facts. Up until recent times, people would call the rulers of Egypt all pharaohs, but technically that's not correct. They were not pharaohs. For only 150 years, they were not pharaohs. And in that time, Yusuf's story occurred. And so Allah does not call them pharaohs. He calls them the king.